raping a woman who later died. Evoir Collier and 24-year-old Dorian Taylor also stole the victim's credit card and her cash. The victim is 24-year-old Christine Engelhart. I'm going to be short 200 for rent this month. You'll find another job. I moved here so I could work on my music. I'm a university dropout slash caterer, server, babysitter. You know, you can always ask your father for money. Are you not catering anymore? No, God, no. I'm uh, just here with a friend. It's like a paid dating thing. What do you do? I'm a musician. What do you play? I play a bunch of instruments. Get paid for your time. And what kind of music do you play? Hey, where are you working right now? How are you making money? She's an entrepreneur. But I do not want my boyfriend going on a date with some girl who wants to sleep with him. Wait. So now it's our fault. The fence take you. Why do you pay to go on a date with a girl 40 years younger than you? Why do you do? I'm a starving artist. Are you going to tell me what's going on with you? Twenty-two-year-old Heather Maples was murdered to indicate strangulation, and she was possibly sexually assaulted. Two days later, they arrested 22-year-old Brandon Bowling for first-degree murder and rape. Bowling allegedly recorded the fatal attack on his cell phone. 29-year-old Bakari Moncrief is being held on a $10 million bond for the capital murder of 43-year-old Sarmitha Sen. A memorial of running shoes were left at the place where Sen would go running every morning. A live streamed video shows a man holding a gun. The video also shows the bodies of two women in the apartment with him. 26-year-old Savannah Tabro. The suspect, Raymond Michael Weber, is under arrest and is accused of committing the two killings.